Thanks for joining us here again at Silicon Beats. Today we're going to look at how to route Impulse's sample outputs to multiple audio tracks. This will allow us to split up our drum groove so we can essentially process our sounds independently of each other. So let's take a listen to this drum loop for example. As you can hear, we have a kick, snare, and hi-hat. Now right now it might be okay to leave all of these on one track, but essentially when we get to mixing our track, we're going to want to have these sounds separated so we can show them some individual attention. Uh, typically you're not going to compress and EQ your snare the same way you would your kick or your hi-hat, and vice versa. So we can use Ableton's routing capabilities to localize these samples to individual tracks. So I'll go ahead and switch over to my mixer. The first thing you'll want to do is set your audio 2 for impulse to sends only. Then you'll want to create your audio tracks. In our case we'll create three because we have three sounds we want to split up in our impulse. Now for each of these audio tracks on your external in your audio from drop down menu set them to impulse. And then on the drop down menu below that, you'll want to pick the corresponding sample. So for this first audio track, we're going to choose kick. For our second audio track, we'll choose our snare sample. And then for our third audio track, we'll choose our hi-hat. And you can go ahead and label these as well. Just to keep things straight. Now if we record enable our audio tracks and then hit playback so you'll notice we have all of our sounds split up now and uh, we can begin to EQ and compress them independently of each other. Also notice that because our audio 2 for our impulse track is set to sends only, there is no output coming from it. So this has been an inside look at how to route impulse sample outputs to multiple audio tracks. Be sure to check us out at SiliconBeats.com.